our weather team coverage continues now. We're getting a live update from Providence. Let's check in with 12 News reporter Matt Paddock. Matt, you're back in an area where rising water was last week that forced rescues by boat. Yeah, Alex, last week we saw the impact and damage that heavy rain in our forecast can have. And here on Branch Avenue in Providence, businesses still boarded up and continuing cleanup efforts. Just a week ago, this parking lot I'm standing in had waters up to my waist. Today, garbage bins full of unusable and destroyed products from the Dollar General and City Trends. Storage units hauled in to put away and move items that could be salvaged as bent and beaten up metal from the businesses lie across the sidewalk. Meanwhile, in Cranston, Dean Estates condemned. Bottom windows boarded up as a security firm keeping a close eye on the building, telling me right now they're waiting for crews to come in and assess the structural damage of the building, keeping everyone off of the property due to safety concerns. From one vantage point, you could even see what appeared to be a sinkhole in front of one of the steps into the building. And tonight, starting at 4, we're keeping an eye and tracking the potential for flooding across the state. That'll be coming up starting tonight at 4. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.